Have you ever watched people on YouTube or TikTok and Instagram opening storage units that they've bid on and purchased? And have you ever wondered how you could do it as well? Check out this video and you'll find out. Yeah, that's right guys. We're gonna talk about storage unit auctions today. And I used to buy storage units before storage units were cool in like 2008, 2009, 2010. I moved on from those. It was an awesome experience. It's totally different today, but I wanna show all of you how you can buy storage units. Is that something you're interested in, whether it's to collect or to resell? Most of you are resellers watching this channel, so you may be interested in it. And exactly how much it costs and how you go about doing it. Uh, it is September 1st, 2023, so we're in a new month. So welcome into September, you guys. And I wanna take you over to my laptop I want to show you all of the amazing websites because there's more than just one or two there's tons of them that you may not know about so if you've ever wanted to buy storage units this is the video for you let's go over and check it out and I'm gonna walk you through how to bid on them how to buy them and how you can go about getting all the cool stuff you see on TikTok and YouTube from other people for yourself let's check it out guys I want to thank the sponsor of today's video pro e-commerce lister your one-stop shop for listing services simply take photos of your inventory Upload them into our system in our mobile app or website, and we do the rest. Titles, descriptions, conditions, item specifics, return times, handling times, and shipping policies. You simply price your item and make them live on the platform. Contact Pro Ecommerce Lister below at www.proecommercelister.com or email us at proecommercelister at gmail.com for full instructions and pricing. And thank Pro Ecommerce Lister for being a sponsor of the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Okay, welcome in to my computer. And the first thing you're gonna do, it's so easy guys, just go to google.com and type in storage unit auctions and the name of your state. Obviously I'm from Florida, so that makes sense. Go to the state of Florida. You can also do um, cities like Sarasota, Jacksonville, Cala, Miami, Pensacola. You'll get almost the same results, but just search for that. And it's gonna pop up to a ton of different websites. I have visited all of these. Like I said, I used to buy storage units back in like 08, 09, 2010, before it was on TV, when it started on TV. It got super popular. I stopped doing it. And then um, after it kind of died down, I just had already transitioned into different businesses. So it really wasn't my uh, business model, but it's, it's successful for a lot of people. And it's very successful on YouTube and TikTok for views. People love the mystery. So here's all the uh, websites and I've opened them up. So the most popular one is probably storagetreasures.com. And when you come on here, you can search by your state, your province, your city, all that sort of stuff, your zip code. And when you come down, it shows you all the active listings. So it's gonna tell you a minimum bid, $10, right? This one is in Oakland Park, Florida. It's a 10 by nine. And the unit appears to contain rocking chair, coffee table, whatever. It has two hours, 47 minutes, 27 seconds. The minimum bid again is $10. So when you come up here, you're gonna have to sign up for this website. It takes a few minutes. Obviously they're gonna need a way for you to pay for it, all that sort of stuff. But when you click on it, it's gonna open up and it's gonna show you the pictures that are in here. So the only thing that's in this unit is some sort of table, uh, this chair and this mattress, right? So that's pretty much, it's in a climate control, you can see. They also tell you there's sales tax of 7%, there's no cleaning deposit, and you can pay cash, credit, debit card, whatever. So this gives you a little more description. This tells you all the rules. Every site has a different rule. Some sites charge you a buyer's premium. Some sites charge you sales tax. Some sites have a cleaning deposit. What that means is they're gonna collect like 50 extra dollars. Then when you come and pay for the unit, uh, they'll give you the $50 back on your card after they confirm that you've cleaned it all out. So let's say that you pay $20 for this unit plus the 7% sales tax. So maybe it's 2140. They're gonna charge you 7140. And as soon as they confirm you've cleaned it out, then you will, um, you'll give the $50 back and you'll be at 2140 or whatever it ends up being, all right? And this tells you uh, exactly when it, um, when it ends. So that's how easy it is. And then you can just scroll down and you can see all the stuff. So let's click here. Here's one in Miami. This is a private seller. It's a 10 by 10. It has a cleaning deposit of $100 and it's high bid currently is $80. Toys, books, uh, kitchen supplies, air bed. So you can click on it. You can make stuff bigger. Um, generally you can make them bigger. Uh, yeah, you can zoom in. This one has the zoom buttons. So uh, you can go through and this is all you get to see, but there may be some good, cool stuff in these units that nobody else is thinking about. Like for example, that home medics, you know, uh, little whatever that thing is, that might be a $20 item, who knows? People are bidding on this for a reason. They see value in some of this stuff. So you just have to, um, you know, use your best judgment to figure out what's in there. So that's one, I'll link that one below, storagetreasures.com. So this one is Cube Smart Self Storage. We have that here in Florida. You can select your state and see where they are, but this one has auctions that are actually running. So this one, for example, is self storage in Panama City Beach. 
uh, it gives you the address, the phone number. And this one says it's September 5th at uh, 11 a.m. And you can view this on storagetreasures.com. And so it actually takes us to the first website. And here is those... Um, here are those uh, auctions right there in their bid time. So this is when they, this is the ending time right here. So they got self storage and this links all out to storagetreasures.com because that's who CubeSmart uses. Next one is storageauctions.com. So this one is storagetreasures.com. This one is storageauctions.com. And you can choose your state as always. You can come down here and choose your city. So I'm near Tampa. So I'm just going to choose, uh, you know, they have this one in Tampa. So you can come up here and do like your um, city zip code. So I'm Three, three, five, four, five. We'll just do the radius. Uh, let's just do 90 miles of my radius, right? And then you hit the search button and everything within 90 miles of me pops up. So within like an hour and a half, two hours of me pops up. Tons of these, Winter Haven, Winter Haven, Spring Hill, Kissimmee, that's over by Disney. This one has two days left. It's at $20. Uh, Spring Hill, Spring Hill, Spring Hill, Kissimmee, 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 Hudson. So all these places, um, you know, pretty close by to me, at least within an hour, hour and a half at most. Um, and this is a unit right here. You guys can see the pictures. You can hover over it to zoom in on this one. And this one's currently at $20. You have to take everything that's in there, guys. Everything that's in there. So uh, the next one we have is Locker Fox. Locker Fox is pretty cool. Again, this one, uh, all the cities here in Florida. And if you scroll down, you can see all the different units. So this one's pretty crazy. This is in uh, Panama City, Florida as well. It ends in three days, 22 hours, and 34 minutes. You can watch. You can view and bid. This one is a newly listed one. So when we click on this one, it's got tons of boxes and totes. It looks like books. These are all full of books. Looks like a gas can, uh, maybe some decorations, maybe some clothes. Who knows what's in there? That's the fun of the units, right? Uh, down here, we've got um, store selfstorageauction.com. So this one's a little different than storageauction.com. It's self-storage. So the high bid here, you know, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Here's a $60 one that is uh, located in Sebring, Florida. That's about an hour and a half from me. Uh, it's kind of in the central part of Florida, like dead center of Florida over to my east. And you can zoom up and see everything they've got going on in these pictures. You know, it looks like there's some a handy cam right there. Looks like there might be some exercise wheel looking thing. There's a dresser. There's all this stuff that people just leave in units. It's pretty crazy. Here's um, maybe some outdoor tools. Hard to see. Uh, there's definitely some chemicals. There's so much stuff in these units. It's just crazy what you can click on and find. Here is another one that's bid 13. This is storage unit auctions in Florida. Again, you can search by zip code on this one. And all the units are going to be down here. Here's 26. Here's a $200 unit. And this unit is woo, packed with golf clubs. Look at all these golf clubs. My goodness. I do not know how one person has all these golf clubs, but there must be an absolute metric ton of golf clubs in here. There must be, there looks like there could be some shoes in there, maybe golf cleats. There's probably two or 300 golf clubs in there. So the bidding on this one is $201. There's a deposit of a hundred. So when you pay for this, it's located in gray, Georgia. When you pay for this one, you'll be paying 301. There's probably sales tax. So you'll have to do that. Um, you have three days to clean it out. Here's their uh, rules. Here's their pickup how they take payment when they're open. So again, all very, very easy. This is a self-storage one in Gray, Georgia. Pretty crazy. When you come back, you can see Ozark, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Georgia, uh, Alabama. So what you would have to do is go up here to your zip code and then you can search. And here we go uh, within you know 200 miles. You can go 100 miles if you want, right? Search for that. There's no auctions on this one within 100 miles of me. Within 200 miles of me, there. There definitely is. These are all in Georgia. So they're across, they must just be across the line in Georgia because I live, I don't know, 150 miles from Georgia. So uh, at least. So there you go. Next one. And the last one is storageauctions.net. Okay. Storageauctions.net, which I'll link below. You can see all of this. I'm going to come over here pretty quick. Just go to Tampa. And when we open that, here are all the storage extra space, no auctions scheduled. So you can see that they actually schedule them when there's auctions. But right now, there are none in this area scheduled. All of these don't have any, which is pretty crazy that they don't have any. If you zoom in on my area, you can see there's one here. This is discount mini storage. All these places, it shows all the companies they work with and what auctions they have. Now, that part of that problem is that a lot of them use 
storagetreasures.com to host all their auctions. So this is really the best one, but you can use all of these sites. So that's pretty crazy that they don't have any going right now because they probably have them all on here. But with that said, these are your best one, two, three, four, five, six or seven sites to use. You can scroll down these for days and days and days. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of units. So if you're interested in this, I mean, here's one right here. Plant City, Florida is like 10 minutes from me. And this one's up to $70. And again, you can see, look, there seems to be some knickknacks, some shoes, some kids' toys, some antiques, maybe some hats, some artwork hanging on the wall. So not surprised this one's up to $70 because there looks like there's some value in here. There's some sports cards. Who knows? But at the end of the day, storagetreasures.com is probably your best bet. Um, you know, go to Google, look through all these sites, and then, you know, come back in, storageauctions.com, storagetreasures.com two biggest ones, Locker Fox, pretty popular one. And then you've got the rest of them like self storage auction, etc. So that's how you do storage auction guys. Let's talk about tips and tricks on these. Back to this one that's 10 by 10 that's in gray Georgia with all these golf clubs. So this is the biggest tip and trick I can tell you guys. So we know that this one's currently at 201. That's the current high bid. So they might take dollar bids. So you might wanna go 202 and you gotta add in the tax and all. So this might be a 220, 230 unit. Um, but what you have to understand is you're only bidding on what you can see. You don't wanna guess on what may or may not be in here. So when we're looking at a unit like this and we're talking about these golf clubs, we have to assume, look, a lot of these golf clubs, you can see the, the grips are really bad. A lot of them are in not great shape, right? We can see that there's a ton of bad uh, brands of golf clubs. These are not the greatest quality golf clubs. There's a ping golf bag, but what kind of condition is it in, right? We have to assume the worst. Now we've got shoes, we got all kinds of stuff, but there may be some vintage ones, right? So I can see, um, you know, what looks to be some, maybe some ping, maybe some primo, maybe uh, there's all kinds of just brands that I've never even heard of. Some Dunlaps are in there. So there's definitely some brands that are noticeable and some that are not. Some of the grips are good. Some of the grips are bad. Uh, there's definitely, you know, this guy might've been a, a golf shop. He might've, you know, he might have been a golf repair place. He might have been a trainer. And there looks to be a bunch of boxes that it could have cleats or shoes, but we have to assume they're not in there. You can't assume they are in there, right? That ping bag looks like it's in terrible shape, honestly. You can't even tell, but there's tons of golf bags. So we have to take this with a grain of salt and say, well, you know, here's Taylor made Titleist. If there's a bunch of good golf clubs in here, we're going to score. But what's the most I'm willing to spend on unknown golf clubs of unknown brand and origin and whatever else might be in there? Well, $200 seems fair. If you could get all these for 200, 250, maybe 300 bucks, there's got to be some value in some of these clubs that you can get your money back. You also have to think about the time and the storage and the work. But would you spend 400? Would you spend five, six? We don't know. We could get stuck with check, you know, chucking a ton of these golf clubs, and then all of a sudden, there's not so much value in them anymore, right? Look at these golf bags. They're so old and beaten up and just tore apart. There's just, you got to be careful. You know, stuff you're going to put out into the trash gets rid of half your inventory, and then all of a sudden, it's not good. You know, you suck, and you're like, oh, there might be tons of shoes in here that are 20 bucks a pair, and there's 20 pairs, and there's $400 just worth of shoes. Maybe, maybe those boxes have shoes or cleats, or maybe they're empty, right? Maybe they're there's uh, golf balls in some of these. Maybe there's cleaning towels. Maybe there's accessories. There's some kind of trophy down there, which looks kind of weird. You don't know. You have to go with your worst case, and you don't want to get greedy and get you know stuck. So my thing on this, if I'm looking at this, and I want to hear, pause this video and comment down below. How much would you pay for all these golf clubs if this was you bidding on it? Pause it before I say what I'm going to say. Okay, if you paused it, now I'm going to tell you. I probably am not going to spend more than three or four hundred dollars on this because here's why, guys. I'm going to assume that at least half of these golf clubs are not worth very much money, if any, and that the half that are worth it, which I'm guessing this is probably got to be around maybe 150 to 200 clubs. I don't think there's more than 200 clubs here. There might be, but I'm guessing you're going to get about 50 quality clubs, and I'm guessing if you could net 10 bucks a piece on them that that's 500, maybe, I don't know that there's a thousand dollars worth of clubs here to resell. I'd be happy with five or 600 probably out of them. I'm gonna assume most of these boxes don't have cleats in them. Maybe there's a couple pairs in here. So maybe there's another hundred or $200, couple hundred dollars worth of, of cleats or shoes. 
all in all, I think this unit is probably safely worth fifteen hundred or two grand on the resale side of it. Um, worst case scenario, though, it, it may only net you out a thousand bucks in here. I don't know that there's more than that because this is a lot of old clubs. If you get more than a thousand, I would probably consider yourself lucky. But who knows? It could be a ton. I could be wrong. But I think a thousand is probably what you you know, generally could expect to get out of a unit like this. If you get 1500, that's awesome. So to, to justify spending more than three or 400 is hard because if it's only worth a thousand, you don't want to spend five, six, $700 and do all that work to only make a few hundred bucks. If I spend 300 and only get a thousand out of it, I won't be too angry. Right. But if I spend 600 and it's only worth a thousand, then it's not really that great. Uh, if it ends up, you know, I spend 600 and it's worth 15 or two, fantastic. If I spend 300 and it's worth 1500 or two grand, I did amazing. And that's where you hit your home runs. So, uh, for, for me, this unit is definitely like a 300, maybe a $400 cutoff and it has three days left. Honestly, if I had to think, you know, it's already at 201. Uh, if I hadn't made this video and put it in front of a ton of people, I don't know that this unit would probably go for more than $300. Maybe somebody snipes it for 350 or 400. Uh, anybody spending more than that, probably uh, overpaying for a unit like this. But what do you guys think? Hopefully you put it down in the comments section below. So that is like the biggest tip for storage units uh, is not overpaying and only going off of what you know you can see and not guessing. The second and third tip are easy. Make sure you have a way to transport everything, a pickup truck, an SUV, a trailer, uh, a box truck, whatever it is. If you watch Wade's, Vencer, Wade's Ventures, he has a box truck with a side door and make sure you have somewhere to store it afterwards. Cause you got to clean it out within 48 to 72 hours. Usually uh, the clean out time on this one is three days. And if you don't have somewhere to store it or something to do with it, you're going to be in real trouble and paying them a lot of money. So this is your self storage of gray Georgia. Pretty interesting. All these golf clubs, but interested to hear what you guys have to say about storage units. Why do you like watching them on social media and YouTube? And what do you love most about storage units? Are you a storage unit buyer? Feel free to put it down in the comments as well. All right. So that is a look inside the world of storage unit auctions and buying and selling. You can also watch Wade's ventures on TikTok and YouTube. He's got a great channel. He buys tons of storage units, hundreds and hundreds of storage units. So check him out, Wade's ventures. I will link all of the sites you saw in this video down below. Make sure you do check those out along with links to my website, Pro Econ commercelister.com and all my other great sponsors of this channel list perfectly my reseller genie and mark two from not your dad cpa i appreciate all of you watching make sure you hit that smash button that like smash that like button excuse me and subscribe to this channel as always so you don't miss future videos and until next time have a wonderful afternoon guys and i'll see you later